Uh, there's been a lot of talk in the last week that the idea of a border adjustment tax is losing ground within the Ways and Means Committee and on Capitol Hill. It's very complicated. It would hurt retailers. But on the other hand, the Republican plan would lose $1.1 trillion if it were not adopted. So do you think it goes forward or not? Well, I think there's a lot of confusion. Um, there's a lack of detail. And really what we've seen from this administration and really this Congress so far is a lot of chaos and confusion. Um, I'm a former businesswoman and entrepreneur, and I know that certainty, predictability, stability are so important to business. And to execute well, you need a vision and a plan and a great team to execute on that vision. And we haven't seen any of that from this administration, um, from a, a president who has said that he, you know, told the public he was a great business leader and he's kind of failed business 101 here. Um, so we don't have the information I think that businesses need to understand the impact that tax the tax reform proposal would have on individual sectors. Um, we need to know that detail. It's dependent on a lot of issues like the value of the dollar where there are many variables that go into that. Um, how the WTO would react and the impact that would have on potential retaliation from other countries, trade retaliation all, All right. of these things are unclear. Hold on just a moment, Congress Cohen. The president and the prime minister have gone from the East Room to the Oval Office. Here is a photo op just a moment ago. This sounds like the president is Yeah. It certainly is. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, the president and the prime minister in the Oval Office with their wives on opposite sides of the couches. Both of them, Congressman, you can't see it, but they're wearing blue ties. I don't know what that means. Uh, but you were mentioning just a moment ago that uh, we don't have a plan. Uh, well, the House Republicans do have a plan, and it was to do Obamacare by the 1st of April, then move on to tax reform. It's beginning to look now like they aren't going to get there. Ways and Means deals with Obamacare and deals with tax reform. What do you think of their timeline? Are we going to see either move forward before the end of this year? Well, we haven't even started yet. We haven't had hearings on on health care or on tax reform. Um, I think that Republicans are trying to figure out how they agree with each other first before they make a proposal. And there are clearly differences between the House and the Senate and even with the administration. So it's hard to know how we even discuss a plan if there's not a detailed plan and piece of legislation put on the table. Wall Street has risen dramatically in the last couple of months and a lot of people say it's because they expect tax relief for corporations is there bipartisan agreement that we should have a different kind of corporate tax code can we at least get that far I think there's bipartisan bipartisan agreement that we need comprehensive tax reform. And so this should be something that we should be able to work together on. Unfortunately, this has really been something that Republicans are doing on their own in a back room, and there hasn't been an ability for us to have hearings, to have a chance to have that bipartisan discussion. And that's going to be critically important if we're going to to be able to move legislation forward that works for all Americans, for small businesses, for our farmers across the country. You heard from the White House. Has there been any uh, contact uh, with White House officials trying to move the process forward with members of the Ways and Means Committee? Um, there, we have not had any um, any contact with the White House. I think right now, this is, again has really been more about chaos and confusion. It's unclear where we get that information right now. Um, and until there is a proposal, a detailed proposal put on the table, uh, um, we're not going to see movement. And definitely, that hasn't happened in our committee yet. 